will declare the SDC meeting of the 3rd of October open. Um, we recognise that the land which we meet on has considerable natural and cultural heritage, including thousands of years of traditional ownership by Ghana. And I just note that this is a public meeting. It will be recorded and published on Council's website approximately 48 hours after the conclusion of the meeting and will remain on Council's website. An audio and visual of any persons making a deputation um, and vision of persons present in the gallery will be captured as part of that recording. Um, elected members will go to confirmation of the minutes. Um, do I have a mover? Councillor Platten to move. Yes. Would you like to speak to that? No, just as written. Thank, Thank you. you. And now we're to second. That's fine. Is there any debate or questions? No debate or questions. I'll move the motion. All those in favour and against, that is carried. Thank you, elected members. There's no adjourned business. There's no chairperson's report. There's no presentations. And elected members, I'm just letting you know, as part of the deputations, I refused one deputation um, this week. The deputation was regarding the rezoning of land at Aldinga. Um, the reason for refusing that deputation is because it was premature for that deputation to happen right now um, and we'll be considering code amendments in the next coming months so there's a better time for that deputation to be heard in front of us. Um, elected members, we now return to reports of officers. 7.1, elected members appointment to the Heritage Grant Assessment Panel. Elected members, um, there's no update from... Council staff, so is there any elected members want to nominate for the positions? Councillor Platten. Um, may I nominate other councillors? You may. Uh, could I please nominate uh, Councillor Greta Wilkes and Councillor Jordan Pritchard? Of course. Um, councillors, do you accept that nomination from Councillor Platten? Uh, I accept that nomination. And Councillor Wilkes? I accept it too, thank you. Is there any further nominations from the floor? Councillor Platten, are you moving? And would you like to debate? Uh, oh, sorry, you, oh. You're happy to move? Yeah, I'm happy to move. No debate. Mm -hmm. Councillor Bell, two second. Just a second, thank you. Uh, no debate. Um, elected members, any questions or debate from the floor? No questions or debate. I'll put the motion. All those in favour and against, that is carried. Thank you, elected members. 7.2, Picket Range Road, Upper Penny Hill Road, intersection upgrade. Um, there is an... Update from council staff. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, the chair, so we just wanted to provide an update. We've completed the hydro excavation um, investigations also with our arborist. We're working through at the moment what those outcomes mean, but at the moment it looks like we'll be able to retain four of the seven trees that were originally investigated. Um, so we would need to remove three trees at this stage, um, noting that one of those is currently dead. Um, that's our preliminary findings at the moment, but we're just comparing those outcomes to the final design to make sure those numbers all match up. Thank you for that update. Elected members, what is your wish? Councillor, whoops. Oh, sorry, can I just ask which trees that you have saved, what numbers, as per page 18 of the report? So through the chair, um, in the report in the table, it is looking like we're going to be able to retain trees number 1, 14, 16 and 23. Oh, sorry, 1, 4, 16 and 23. And then we'd be removing number 11, 20 and 22. Thank you. Um, Councillor Platten, would you like to move the motion? Yes, please. Would you like to debate? Um, no, thank you. Thank you, Councillor Pan. Mayor Will, would you like to second? Would you like to debate? Yes, I do. Exactly. Words. I just want to commend the work of the arborists and all the traffic designers and um, the balancing relationship that we're constantly seeing as a chamber between safety and canopy and compliance with the legislation and the variety of legislations like the Native Veg Act, Vegetation Act and the federal government funding to support both sustainability and road safety. Um, this um, process has really been, I think, one that demonstrates a huge amount of trust and support between the different teams. And often we don't get a chance to acknowledge that. So I want to use this opportunity to acknowledge that. 
and um, also the um, assessment of risk. And I listed all the different things I could think of, the agricultural risk, impact, flora, fauna, threatened species, road trauma, reputation, political risk, vegetation. I mean, this is a very thorough and comprehensive report. And so I think we can feel that no stone or leaf indeed or a surface or any species has been left um, unconsidered. So I'd really like to support this motion and um, thank you all very much. And recognising that once a project gets federal black spot funding, that in itself should be an indication that we are in a position to make a, an affirmative support to something like this. Thank you. And um, Councillor Pritchard, debate or questions? Uh, just a very quick debate. Go ahead. Um, I guess drawing the Chamber's attention to the fact that this is the third sort of road project on this Pendice Hill Road. So, um, you know, it's not in isolation. So with the other project and the completed one already, uh, it's just making that road much better. So, um, yeah, fully in support of this project. Councillor Bell, questions or debate? Just questions, if, you, if I may. I, I do support the motion at, uh, at this stage um, and very impressed with the report. Thank you for Council for that. Um, I just wondered whether Council could provide some background information for the potential for reducing the speed limit to 70, I understand. That's through the Chair. Um, at the moment, we are working through um, a potential process with the department using the speed limit line for South Australia. Um, we are working on a communications package um, that will be distributed to elected members soon, um, as per our previous updates. Um, we're deliberately trying to separate these projects because there's <laughs> numerous projects on Picket Range Road and we don't want to confuse people. Um, so the idea is to, to get this project through and then um, work through uh, the next package about what we might be doing for the speed limits in the area. Uh, can you confirm that, that the request is for a speed limit to be reduced along the whole length of Pickett Range Road? Yeah. Up through the chair. Um, there, are, there are differences. Um, I believe the report notes that um, the speed limit on Pickett Range Road at this project site is actually technically 100 kilometres per hour because it has sections of unsealed roads and that's that's largely under the Australian standards and the, and the speed limit guideline. And so we will find it quite challenging to try and change the speed limit there um, because of the way unsealed roads are treated. But for Upper Penny's Hill Road, um, I believe that, uh, oh yeah, so Pickett Range Road, um, you're changing between Grand Scully Road and Cox's Hill Road to 70. Um, and then Upper Penny's Hill Road, uh, I do believe that's a reduction. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but a reduction from the current 80 zone. One more question, if I may, through the chair. Um, just uh, if uh, if you could please um, provide a bit of an update on what efforts are being made to manage the wildlife and habitat in the trees that are lost. Please. Um, yeah, so through the chair, um, obviously keeping the two picket range projects fairly removed. So this is a much smaller scale than the other project that's been presented in the chamber in the past at Pigot and Easton. Um, in saying that, we are checking for fauna before we do any tree removals and we're continuing to work with Mish from the Southern Koala and Echidna Rescue. Um, so they've offered through the engagement process to help identify any animals that may need to be um, relocated through the project with the removal of the two trees. Um, and we've also worked with them that they're going to take some branches off of the trees that are removed to use for animals that are in care. So any other further questions or debate from the floor? Councillor Patton, would you like to close debate? I'll put the motion, all those in favour and against. That is carried. Thank you, elected members. 7.3 Council Scheduled uh, Committee Reporting Schedule. Councillor Eaton to move. Yes. Edward. Would you like to debate? No. Councillor Patton to second. Yes, thank you. Would you like to debate? No. Any further questions or debate? I will put the motion, all, that is, all those in favour and against. That is carried. Thank you, elected members. There's nil questions on notice, nil notices on uh, motions on notice, nil petitions. Any urgent business from elected members? There is no urgent business. Uh, there's no confidential items. I will close the meeting at 6.40. Thank you, elected members. Next door. Thank <laughs> you.